Hey everyone, Anthony here, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you a Premiere Pro trick that I used while editing a recent video, and that is how to use the warp stabilizer and speed effects on the same clip without getting an error message. Alright, so I'm currently inside of Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I've got a couple of clips on the timeline that I'm working with. Playing them back, you can see that they move a little quickly, and they're also pretty shaky, which does tend to happen when you're shooting handheld. So the first thing that I might do to a clip in this case is slow it down by about 50%. Now playing the clips back, you can see that the slow motion helps a lot, but there still is a tiny bit of jitter, and obviously I'm going to want to get rid of that. Normally the solution would be to add warp stabilizer, but if I just grab that and pop it onto the clip, you can see that I get this error message right here. Warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. At this point, it looks like I'm stuck, but there is a solution, and luckily it's quite simple. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to hit nest. I can name this nested sequence whatever I want. And then, once I have this nested clip in my timeline, all that I have to do is go back to effects, grab warp stabilizer, and drop it onto the nested clip. As you can see, it immediately starts analyzing the clip. I can head on over to effect controls and see the progress, so about one minute remaining. And now, playing it back, you can see that we've got buttery smooth slow motion, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, this won't necessarily work every time. For example, here you can see a little bit of weird, like, warping. And obviously, that's not ideal, so you will have to mess around in here to try to fix that. And by adjusting the smoothness to 30 and setting the method to position, scale, and rotation, you can see that it's a lot less nausea-inducing. It's super weird that this works the way it does, but what's important is that it works, so hey. So there you go, a super quick Premiere Pro tutorial. I did my best to make it to the point, and if you found it helpful and would like to learn more about my channel, there is information in the description down below. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.